If I try to imagine some objective metrics for what would make a guitar the best, I'd have to generalize. It's such a subjective thing. I'd split it into a few basic categories, feel and sound. And when it comes to the feel and sound of this, the adaptability and versatility are unmatched compared to every other guitar I've played in my life. My Jazzmaster, Telecaster Deluxe, and Les Paul Modern come close, but any shortcomings I could try to look for objectively are rectified or don't exist here. That's especially true of the sound. makes it apparent that the HD bridge pickup is the star of the show here, and it is amazing. But the neck pickup, some sort of carefully balanced ceramic magnet, non-heat treated counterpart for the bridge pickup is just as incredible to me. And the neck really captivated me as soon as I picked up the guitar. The fret work was perfect, but that's not uncommon nowadays. What is uncommon is the finish on here. It's gunstock oil and the special wax blend and it almost feels like nothing. There's no resistance at all. But at the same time, it's easy to anchor down in any position without your hand sliding or sticking. And the shape of the neck pairs really well with the 10-inch radius too. It's perfectly balanced, I think. Just like the humbuckers in here, which I'll get back to now. I've done the sound dynamics before this, but I didn't showcase the touch dynamics. Beyond being sensitive to how you pick, the response and where you pick between the neck and bridge is really impressive to me.
to really dive into the sounds this guitar can make. I got very nerdy with it, and I regret waiting so long to try an Ernie Ball guitar, but truthfully, the price scared me off. The only reason I ended up with this one is because my friend Billy changed my life by offering his support and the support of Zounds, who I've shopped with since I was a kid. This HD Stingray is the very first piece of gear I requested when we partnered up, so it'll always hold a special place in my heart as will Billy and everyone at Zounds. The least I can do is to ask that you consider shopping with Zounds. Our partnership is unconditional, they're not asking me to do this. I'm doing this because I want to and because their payment plans and shipping and service are unmatched. Back to the guitar though, it's a game changer for me because it's premium in every sense of the word. And as a guitar, I'll judge every other against from now on regardless of price. The build and features are amazing. Obviously, the electronics are the selling point, particularly the humbuckers, which you may know I like by now, and that's because they feel like the best blend of some of my favorite pickups, Gibson's 498T and 490R, and Tom Anderson's H-Series humbuckers. They cut through without losing their body. But the Stingray has plenty of other premium features, like Schaller M6 locking tuners, a compensated nut, which I'd never used before, and it's very effective. I tuned down a drop C with factory strings, and I had no intonation issues at all. Moving down from there on the rosewood fretboard, we've got 22 medium-high stainless steel frets, and the board and frets are finished perfectly. There's not a single issue there. And at the end of the fretboard, we have the truss rod adjustment wheel, which I didn't even need to use. This guitar is super stable. On the back, we've got a battery compartment that's used for the boost, and the push-activated boost itself has an internal trim pot that varies the value between either 12 decibels or 20 decibels. I kept it at the factory setting of 12 decibels because that was a lot of gain. It's a perfectly versatile and comfortable instrument. It combines the physical and sonic elements of my favorite guitars, Les Paul's and Jazz Masters, in the best ways. And now I completely understand the hype and price for Music Man. I mean, even the finish on this is premium. You see it from a distance or in pictures and think it's another sunburst, but there's so much depth to the colors and it's sparkly and the gloss is just right. It's just correct from the way it feels, it's balanced, not too heavy or too light. And most impressively, the sounds are so adaptable. Even the differences in picks are so pronounced. there's anything else I could say or play at this point that wouldn't be redundant. It's a great guitar. I feel like a more informed guitarist for having played one. I'll take forward what I've learned from it, and I hope me geeking out over it has been informative in some way. I'm really grateful you watched this, thank you, and thanks again to Billy and everyone at Sounds for everything.